We are back at the top of another Savage Stream, and I always forget to turn these dang lights on. My bad. I think we're actually in the green here, aren't we? Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. So let's switch that to green. All right. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a couple of fire tees in, so I'm feeling all right. I hope everyone is doing well tonight. And we are going to be covering a little bit more about Zcoin because, I mean, we, we've we been covering Zcoin all week. Why is this so... I look all red and everything. Let's see, it must be because of this. Hang on a second. So we've been covering... We've been covering Zcoin all week, but mainly from a mining perspective, right? We've been, we mined it with uh, NVIDIA GPUs, AMD GPUs on Hive OS and Simple Mining. We did both uh, basically every night. We ran into problems every single time, which was cool because I like doing that. I like running into problems and actually having to work through it on the stream. I think that that's cool and it, it offers a little bit of value, I think, because you see what happens in real time instead of Instead of like an edited video where everything works perfectly the first time, you see you get to see it in real time. This is how it really works and how it really doesn't work sometimes. So I think that that's important. But anyway, so tonight I figured, you know, like I said, I mean, we've been covering this all week, like monsters, like beasts. So... Uh, I would like to kind of get into a little bit more about the project itself tonight. I think that it makes sense to end the week on that. Uh, Crypto Fireball Friday. Hope everyone is doing well. So uh, as far as profitability goes, let's look at this real quick here. If we go to what to mine and this particular rig, this is the NVIDIA rig that I have, uh, Kessel. It's a six GPU NVIDIA rig, pretty standard. Uh, it's got two 1070s, two T, 1070Ti's, and two 1080s. And you can see here that, let me do a calculate just to make sure, at my 10.3 kilowatt, 10.3 uh, cents per kilowatt hour, it looks like Zcoin is, you know, number three on the list, on the profitability, which isn't bad. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. We've been mining it all week. Uh, I don't know if it's always been, it hasn't always been on this rig. We've kind of sw switched between several of them, but like once the stream was over, I would switch back over to this rig because it's the most uh, profitable, most efficient, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I think that if we look at the profitability, uh, if we go to the pool here and look at what we have, go to earnings here, this is Mint Pond. We, We've been using Mint Pond because two miners is like the top pool, but it has a humongous amount of the hash power, like 80% or something like that. So I went to Mint Pond in order to spread that out a little bit, right? And make it a little bit more secure, I guess you could say. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so it looks like we got paid uh, 1.1, well, 1 e XZC earlier this week. It looks like the balance that I currently have is almost another one. So this is a bad, may, probably about 72 hours of mining straight, most likely on this on this particular rig. Uh, I did have it off at one point, so you know, just kind of um, playing around with it. But all week, uh, basically, if you look at what Zcoin is at right now, it is at five dollars and something, I believe. Let's go over here and look real quick. So I've essentially earned two this week. Yeah, so 525, so about 1050 this week, minus electric costs. You know, it, it all works out. I mean, you look at what to mine, it pretty much works out mathematically with what's going on, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, it is one of the most profitable, but hey, you know, it wasn't that long ago that we were seeing basically or that i was seeing on my rigs anyway zero profitability on all coins right so this is actually even though it's only two dollars and fifty cents a day it is still not that bad compared to what it was <laughs> recently right so i'm i'm okay with it uh, i'm i'm okay with it so uh z coin is all right number three on the list there uh so i sh showed you what we have mined so far let's look at their their actual roadmap here because uh, I do think from what I can tell I did a little bit of research like prior to the stream 
it seems like maybe they need to update their website. It seems like it is a little bit out of date. Just a little bit, not, not too bad, but it just seems like it's missing some things that have happened recently. Uh, so it's basically a four year old project, crypto project. It listed on Binance back in 2017, November. Uh, as far as the mission of the project goes, let's see if I can slide over here. Okay. Uh, you know, Zcoin has a goal, a, a common goal am among many privacy coins for individual liberty and freedom and in finance and commerce. Uh, pretty common across the board with privacy coins. They believe that people should be able to transact with and transfer value to and from whoever they choose without any kind of middle person or mediator. They look to provide the strongest amount of anonymity possible while being a usable asset. Uh, so they do focus a little bit on end user usability and the privacy aspect. They use both proof of work, the MTP protocol, and proof of stake. So they are essentially a, pri a hybrid privacy coin. As miners, you know, we're always concerned with the algorithm a project uses because oftentimes it determines whether or not we'll be profitable with our hardware. And you saw on What's Mine there that they're using MTP, which is Merkle Tree Proof. Uh, Zcoin originally started with Lyra 2, alg the Lyra 2 algorithm way back when, but that was, that was in 2016. But that was dominated by cloud computing. You know, everybody knows, remembers those days, right? Uh, cloud computing and botnets. So they transitioned to Lyra 2Z, uh, but now they are actually using MTP. That was their latest algorithm. And so what exactly is MTP? It stands for Merkle Tree Proof and is a mem memory hard algorithm that was coded by the Zcoin team from the ground up, which is you know pretty significant if you think about a project that creates their own algorithm. There are many others out there that do that. Uh, this is, is one of them. So MTP Algo, it actually requires four gigabyte of memory plus functional implementation overhead, which puts it basically at six gigabyte of RAM. So if you don't have, if you have four gig uh, GPUs, you're probably not going to work out very well on MTP. Uh, CPU mining will require six gigabyte of RAM per thread. So depending on how many threads you dedicate to CPU mining, it requires six gig of RAM per thread. And MTP was created by Alex Birukov. I'm, I think I got that right. And Dmitry Kovratovich. Kovratovich from the University of Luxembourg in a paper published uh, four years ago titled Egalitarian Computing. We went over this before. I think we did this on Monday whenever we kind of went in depth into MTP. Uh, but basically, you know, these guys develop algorithms like they developed Equihash originally, uh, you know, that's used by a lot of projects and MTP uh, makes the, basically makes the use of any type of uh, cheater, right? Like a botnet or FPGAs or ASICs, however you want to look at it, less advantageous because it establishes the same cost for computations across all those devices. So it's very computation heavy to find a solution. But the cool thing about uh, Zcoin itself or the, this protocol is that once it's found, it's very quick to verify, right? It's very quick and efficient to verify that transaction. That's the that's the awesome thing about MTP. Even though it requires a lot of memory and large amounts of data to submit to pools, the nodes verifying the work require a short amount of time to and small amounts of memory to actually verify it. So that actually works out pretty well for the protocol and the, and the project as a whole. So how does the Zcoin's privacy mechanism actually work? Uh, basically, the easiest way to look at this is that you get to burn old coins for new coins so they have no transaction history or zero transaction history. Remember, with you know, Bitcoin was intended to be anonymous, you know, but it's actually pseudo anonymous because you can actually do chain analysis and figure out you know, who sent who, what coin, at least the address is right. And it's not really that private if you if you come down if it comes down to it it's not really that private because you can you can almost always link it back to uh, 
a person or at least an, an originating account, right? Because the coins are minted, you know, uh, in the in the in the block, and then mined, and then added to the block, and then the reward is issued, and then from there you could track everything. Well, with with Z Coin, you are burning the old coins for new coins, and those new coins don't have any history. So that's where they actually get the Z Coin name from, Zero Coin. So uh, it's it's a really cool uh, way of doing privacy, right? Um, let me switch back over to this page. This makes more sense for what I'm talking about here. Uh, but what we haven't really covered in previous uh, streams this week is the Z nodes. Now, I'm not an expert on Z nodes at all. I'm not an expert on nodes and hosting and all that stuff. But we are going to talk a little bit about Z nodes, and that's basically the proof of stake portion of Z coin. And I like projects that that delve into both the master node and the proof of work aspects of crypto, right? Because it gives options and it also it, it leverages the benefits of both of those. You know, another example is Aon or the the OAN. Uh, they do something similar. You know, you've got staking um, and and the proof of work side. So, uh, you know, I like seeing that. It makes it makes a lot of sense to me for a project to do both. But basically, for a Z node, they started back in December of 2017, which was a really long time ago. Uh, and a Z node requires a thousand XZC, which right now is pretty expensive, right? For the average person, it's about five thousand two hundred fifty dollars to start a Z node. Uh, but that a thousand XZC is refundable at any time. Anytime you want to get out of the Z node, then you can actually redeem your X, your a thousand XZC, take control of it again, and spend it however you see fit. But basically you need a thousand XCC, you need a computer or a VPS with a fixed IP address. So you have to have a fixed IP address and you also have to have one gigabyte of RAM, which is pretty easy to get these days. But basically you also need a, uh, a, a disk space, enough disk space to store the blockchain. So let me see here if I can find... Yeah, so you need uh, 25 gig basically is recommended for the moment. And typically a VPS or a virtual private server of this specification costs around $5 a month. And you can head on over to, you can use Amazon, you can use Microsoft Azure, LeaseWeb, Vulture, Google Cloud, Linode, DigitalOcean. There's a lot of them out there that you can actually get a VPS with and set this up. and there's a guide. This is actually, I'm scrolling through the guide now. It's pretty easy. It looks pretty easy to set up. Um, but there's also going to be some Zenode providers that they can, that can assist with setting up the Zenode. Um, but basically a Zenode stores all the transaction history and it's what the miners submit their work to. Now you might be wondering, okay, so what do I get? for this $5 a month that I'm gonna be paying to host this VPS and this Z node on a VPS. Well, you get 30% of the mining rewards. And right now the mining rewards are, let's find out, I think they're 14. Ugh. Yeah, I should have I should have wrote this down. I don't remember the, uh, the number here. Let's go here. Block times are five minutes, 20 seconds, and the reward is 14, yeah. So you get 30% of that. Now, here's the thing though. It depends on how many Z nodes are out there with your percentage, right? So uh, I'm sure that there are plenty, if you probably Google Z nodes, Z coin Z nodes or something like that, you're probably gonna get some calculators out there that know, I think they're, I think they passed 5,000 nodes if, if I remember right. I think I remember seeing that. So I think they have more than 5,000 nodes. So that, block reward and that mining reward is shared you know that 30 percent is shared across all those nodes so you have to really do some math and figure out if it's actually worth it there are going to be services out there that probably already are are out there where you know you can basically pull your resources together like let's say that i have a thousand dollars or let's say that i have uh, 250 z coin 
someone else has 250 Z coin, another person has 250, and then the fourth person has 250. So we have a thousand together, and we want to pull those together and create one Z one Z node. You can do that, but remember that someone has to hold the keys basically to those coins. So so it's like a trusted environment. You have to you have to trust that person. Now, the cool thing about Zcoin though is that you're not actually sending your coins to an address. You're not getting rid of them. You're just specifying them. I think it's through a, uh, it, it is a private key, but it's not the private key for your wallet that's holding the thousand Zcoin. It's different. It's a, uh, it's like a marker that's in there that says, okay, these thousand Zcoin are marked as, you know, being dedicated to this Z node. So there are services out there that can do that to combine the services. Uh, again, you have to trust the person uh, because they're going to have that level of access. They might, depending on how it's set up, I don't know how it would be set up, but they could actually take your thousand, right? Because I think in that case, because they're, they're, I think the situation is this, there has to be one address. So if you are combining your 250 with someone else's, you know, 750, right, then uh, there can only be one address that it's associated with a Z node. So you, in that case, you probably would have to send your 250 to someone else for them to actually uh, store it and host for the for the Z node, if that makes sense. So it's not ideal. You know, ideally you would have your own 5,000 or a thousand. I get it. That's a, that's quite a lot, you know, for a node these days. Uh, but this project's been around since 2016. Um, if I was mining it since then, then I would probably have a thousand, right? So uh, anyway, you know, it is, ow, that hurt. Man, that hurt. All right, I'm all right. So that it is what it is. You know, if you don't have a thousand, you can probably get with other people and, and, uh, and work it out. So 30% of the block rewards, uh, again, it all goes across all the nodes. And like I said, I think that they have about 5,000 nodes right now. So. I'm going to check the chat, see what you guys are up to over here. I am pretty much done with my spiel, and that was only 20, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see here. What are y'all talking about? Man, y'all are busy in this chat. What is going on over here? Hey, what's up, Red Panda? Let me go through the list here. Good grief. Y'all are busy. What's up, Sarth? What's up? Chan coin, I think Chan coin had to dip out here. What's up, CML? Sarth, I think I already said your name. What's up, Shuby? <laughs> um, fireball shot. I don't have a shot, Shuby, but I I do have my uh, fireball and sweet tea. So I don't have a fireball shot. I could probably go get one, um, but I don't see any like super chats for me doing a shot here. So what's up with that? I'm just kidding. You guys know I hate that stuff, so. Let's see here. What we got? Uh, Gundy's stuff and things. What's up, man? Yeah, it's Fireball Friday for sure. Red Panda, what is up, man? Jonas P, what's going on? Unknown Crypto, what's up, man? I hope, unknown crypto, I hope you mean Hennessy and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Not that other stuff. All right. Yeah, you guys are super busy over here. Yeah, I'm just talking. I'm just yapping about Zcoin. It's it, it's kind of a cool project. I You know, again, it's one of those ones that's that I've seen over and over because you, you see it on what to mine and stuff and you see people talking about it and it's, and it's an old project, you know, it's been around since 2016. So I thought that that was kind of funny, but, um, you know, that I'm, I think I did one stream on it before because I had some data, I had some old documents about it. So I must've done maybe a random coin mining show or something on it, you know, back in like 2018 or early 2019 or something. So, uh, for whatever reason, I just never really got into it. And then uh, recently with obviously the, the price, the value, you know, increase, it kind of caught my attention again. So I wanted to do a little bit of data, a uh, little bit of content on it. 
just to get it out there. But I basically did a whole week, so I think that that's pretty good. <laughs> there should be no questions. I mean, we went through a lot of stuff this week with Z coins. There should be no mining questions, no pro what is this project about questions, because that's basically what we covered tonight. Uh, I, again, I do think that their website needs a little bit of update. I, it just seems to be like if you scroll down all the way to the bottom of their of their um, roadmap, it says here. Uh, let's see, like this, like Sigma Protocol. I I want to say that this is already done, and that it is actually into uh, i know they're working on lalantis right um i think that's the way this works i don't know i need probably need to really dig in here i did just join their discord so i don't know uh, maybe there's more up-to-date information in there um it just seems like they're i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm just maybe i'm just ignorant to what's going on with this project but it seems like there was uh some they need to update it i don't know i ran across a couple of things that seemed that way but if you go if you want to learn more about zcoin obviously go to their website but you can go to get zcoin here and it talks about you know all their wallets it talks about uh change log it talks about the mobile wallets what all they support which i think is really cool that uh, zelcore supports it and we were actually using the Zelcor wallet and the Zcoin address in that wallet to mine to. So I think that that was pretty cool. Um, it talks about their Zcoin fiat pairing. They're on a lot of exchanges, you know. It talks about their Z node here. I think I've already went to that site. That's this one right here. They do have a mining guide, solo mining. You can solo mine it also. I think that, I want to say that Not Your Normal Miner did a Zcoin solo mining uh, video, maybe. I think I'm remembering that correctly. So that's cool too. <laughs> Shuby, anyone know what state I live in for one ETC? And everybody should really thank Shuby because I, we, we had that poker tournament and he donated uh, quite a lot to the poker tournament and he wasn't even able to play. So I'm going to I'm going to donate his entry fee into the next one so that uh, to kind of compensate for that. But basically the way we worked it, no one really we didn't do like a giveaway. I need to do that next time. Um, do it like a giveaway for entry fees into, you know, the charity poker tournament and uh, yeah, so I need to do that next time, but everybody needs to needs to thank him for the uh, generous donation that he made to towards that charity. And, we, and I think that Crypto Mikhail is working on videos for showing the distribution of the charity, uh, you know, the funds, the crypto for, that has, has been donated for the charities. I got to get with him and make sure that that's true uh, as far as the video part of it. Uh, I don't know if he's already distributed, distributed the charity donations or not uh, I know that like for the beta frame we were kind of collecting them over the three episodes that we did <laughs> over the three different competitions that we did so we were uh, collecting all that I think he, he's got all that worked out um, we just need to get probably just need I, I probably just need to get with him and figure it out and do a video on the distribution and stuff so All right, I think, I wanna say is DCA Adventure, they're live tonight, right? Yeah, for 10 o'clock. So we got about three more minutes and then we'll switch over to DCA Adventure and make sure that you give them a good congratulations because they pretty quickly went over a thousand subscribers, which I think is really awesome. You guys need to check them out. Uh, they do some, uh, cool content, a lot of, uh, you know, interviews, and, and they also, the most significant thing that they do, at least for me anyway, is that they host the, uh, all the, the charity, charity streams, right? So like the poker tournament, the beta frame build, all that stuff, they host that, 
uh, so that there's one site or one channel that you can go to to see that content, right? Uh, now I do, you know, I'll stream my own uh, also on, beside of that, but you know, it's kind of cool to have them do that because they have the the Zoom account and all that stuff, so it works out pretty well. But yeah, make sure you head over there to them, and yeah, cool stuff. We'll do uh, we'll do a savage raid over there in about a couple minutes, and if y'all want me to do a shot, <laughs> y'all are crazy. So do a savage raid on DCA Adventure, and hmm, where does Shuby live? That's a good question. I know he's made trips to Florida, but I don't know if he lives there. I don't think he lives there. Hmm. All right, so it looks like Unknown Crypto sent me 10, 10 bat, which I don't even know how to get that. Is that in, is that like Twitter or is that Brave Browser or what? I don't even know. My camera is like, man, it's whack right now. What is going on with this thing? I normally, let me see here. I look like really super red here. All right, that look. I know that's a little darker, but it, at least the color looks a little bit better, I think. All right, look like I was out in the sun all day. All right, yeah, Unknown Crypto, I don't even know how to get that. And I think you have to KYC to get it off of there, which I will probably never do. Uh, so, uh, thanks. <laughs> but let me go, uh, I have to go get the, now this is really dark, all right. I have to go get the fireball out of the kitchen, so. Y'all are gonna see me friggin' choke to death on live stream here. I'm not, I'm not a big drinker at all, like not even a little bit. Despite the Fireball Friday stuff, you know, that's like, that's just, that's just marketing. I, I don't drink that much at all. Seriously. Seriously, I don't. All right, so, hey, what's up, Hash Raptor? What is going on, man? All right, so let me, uh, it's 10 o'clock, we have to get over to uh, DCA adventure so fire the fire up their stream get in there do the savage raid I'll be right back with the uh, with the shot stuff Give me a second. I'll turn up the background music too so y'all can have something to listen to I don't I don't know what's playing but whatever it is Enjoy I'll be right back Unknown crypto. I forgot to turn down the music. Woo! 
All right. I really want to have a drink with y'all, like, in real life. Once this whole... I don't know, y'all are all over the world, I guess, but once this whole uh, epidemic is over, we need to do some type of uh, conference or something, man. I don't know. This, this is... Uh, this sucks. So, I will be doing... I did get the... I know we have to get to DCA Adventure. They usually wait just a couple minutes on me because I'm always running along. But uh, I got the fan for the my uh, Savage Vault, right? <clears throat> Where the rigs will eventually be. I got to drop a 240 outlet in there and uh, install the fan, you know, to where it blows up into the attic. I did get that. I, I didn't know what it was and I started opening it and then I looked at it and I was like, oh, okay, it's the it's the fan. So I didn't open it. I don't even know what the thing looks like. I mean, I know what it looks like. I know what it's supposed to look like, but I need to do, I want to do an unboxing video on it and then uh, I'll probably, maybe I'll do that tonight, maybe after DCA Adventure. I don't know. What's up, Unknown Crypto? Thanks a lot, man. Uh, what are y'all talking about with uh, Jim here? Oh, modding the server PSUs? Okay. <clears throat> I know that if they are on 120, that they're on like a 1200 watt P server PSU on 120 is really only a 900 watt power supply. It has to be on 240 or 220, 220, 240 in order to be a 1200 watt power supply. I do know that, but you're talking about actually modifying it. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out. All right, guys, let's head over to DCA Adventure. I'll see you guys over there. Yeah, see, they're still waiting. <laughs> they're five minutes late. <clears throat> All right, yeah, head over there and do the Savage Raid. I'll talk to you guys over there and let me know let me know in the comments in the chat here if you guys want to do the unboxing video of the of the fan i think it was it called it's an ac infinity t12 air something i forget the model number uh but we need to uh, do the unboxing video of that and i'll probably plug it up and turn it on because i gotta see how this thing works because i, I want to know how to install it properly in order to make it work efficiently. So I uh, need to do that. But anyway, let me know if you want to do that video tonight or tomorrow morning or something What's like that. I will see you guys. <laughs> this is DCA Adventure. I'll see you guys over in DCA Adventure. Stay savage, everybody.